guys, welcome to the hangout with Donna Gets Crafty. Let's go make something. So this challenge is a boho useful challenge and it is hosted by Mondas Life Handmade. She has such fun videos on her um, YouTube channel. I strongly suggest you go and check out some of the videos that she has there. Adorable tutorials, some dupes, really affordable yet quality looking stuff. So I appreciate that she has put together this particular challenge and her co-host today is Artsy Cupcake. And just like it says, you get some artsy stuff, you get some cupcakes, and she also has such fun, unique videos. Um, go ahead and check out um, Artsy Cupcake for some inspiration and really a lot of fun uh, crafts going on there. I don't know why my internet is taking so long to open this up, but you can see bright and fun and there are some dupes and farmhouse and pottery barn, um, all kinds of fun things over there at Artsy Cupcake and Mom Das. And so my offering today is a boho useful little basket and some coasters. It is my first attempt at boho um, home decor. So with that, don't forget to check out these two amazing YouTube channels as well as the playlist below. And we are going to then now get into my craft for today. Well, let's get into this boho uh, craft that I'm going to do. I have not done a lot of boho stuff, but I really wanted to make some new coasters for our living room. Um, and so this is what I came up with. So I picked up these four coasters. Uh, what are they? Pallet coasters from the Dollar Tree. And I thought they were so cute. So I stained them, but then I realized that stain is not really a good color for boho. It really didn't work because of the um, little decals that I made. So this is Waverly Chalk Paint in Ivory. I thought that the off-white was really going to do well for a boho project. So how about you guys? Do you have any boho um, uh, decorations in your house? Decorations, no, home decor in your home? Um, I, I kind of really do like it. I just don't have a lot. So this is my first attempt at anything boho. Now, painting these things was, I'm not going to lie, a big fat pain in the butt because it took so long to get all those little crevices and underneath. And anybody who's been to my, you know, page before or my channel knows that I like to get all, every little bit covered. I like all sides to look like they are done. So that's why it took me a good 45 minutes to finish all four of those um, palette coasters. Now, these are some adorable little succulent type plants that I had, um, potted plants that I printed up using my um, Cricut. All right, can you see how tiny those little pieces are? What? Why do I make my job so much harder than it needs to be? But the result really was really, I, I love the way that came out. Um, this actually is a different weeding tool. It's a, it's a legit uh, dental tool that I had to, that I happened to have on hand because I bought an error but it's super super pointy and it got those teeny little pieces out of there um, yeah so there they are look how cute they are though tell me they weren't worth it I really think that they were worth it I'd love to know your opinion on that um, okay so here I am just using some transfer tape to go ahead and attach them evenly onto each little palette and uh, so far I'm really digging the way this is coming out Anyway, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love to have you subscribe to my little channel by hitting subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to go ahead and set up getting notified whenever I post something new, which is uh, one to two times a week, a little bit more during the holidays. And there we have them. Look how cute they came out. All right. So here is like a little miraculous thing that I did. I, um, oh. I'm still putting them on. Okay, I'm jumping ahead in my video. Oopsie. Uh, I guess I wanted to show that I did all four of them. Look at that. I lined them up, made them even. Okay, so here is like a little miracle, all right? So I wanted a little boho design and I couldn't find anything but arrows and this plant. And for some miraculous reason, I measured properly and I only had to put it on once. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to cut apart the arrows and the plant to the little leafy thing to put on there. I was like, what? How did I manage that? I probably will never be able to do that again. But I totally love how these things are coming out. Very boho, very adorable. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to put on that upper little wide part of the palette. So I uh, 
was looking for some boho type words that weren't adventure or zen or whatever. So I asked a friend of mine, dear Carol, to help me out and we came up with some words. I was very happy with the words that I chose. The uh, way that I'm going to put them onto there is uh, first I wrote it out with a pencil. I'm very insecure about my handwriting. All right, this is only the second project that I decided to do because I want to practice because like Heidi Sandel says, you're not going to be able to do it, um, get it, get better at something if you don't practice. So here I am practicing um, my handwriting and uh, there we go. So once I have my four words chosen, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree metallic silver, which I thought worked nice with this gold and the whole uh, boho look. And I simply went over the word with this uh, really cool marker. Dollar Tree's mar uh, metallic markers are absolutely uh, way better than I ever thought they were going to be. And my J on Journey is way too small. All right, so anybody out there practicing their uh, skill at uh, handwriting on your projects, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, any kind of advice on how to do it better. I guess they're okay. They're not properly spaced, but they're unique and they mean that they're, you know, they're mine. So when I look at it, I see my handwriting makes me happy. Little Mod Podge over this particular project because um, I don't want them to peel off because we're going to be putting mugs on there and stuff or glasses. And uh, there we have it. I really need to pick up Mod Podge in the waterproof. Has anybody out there used the Mod Podge waterproof? Let me know if you have and if indeed. Is it actually waterproof? It does 28 days to cure that waterproof stuff. There's always that. But I really like the way this came out. And there they are. Just waiting for a little mug of coffee to sit on. Now my next little boho project is a gold, one of those gold baskets from the Dollar Tree. I had no idea what I wanted to do with these, but I did have um, some beads. And I thought, okay, beads and that white twine that you could pick up in the Dollar Tree automotive section. All right, that was really going to I, I thought that it was going to make a good a good look with this particular um, little basket. So here I am just beading them on, um, threading the beads onto um, this rope and made a little pattern. And it really was kind of cool that these beads that I had pretty much fit perfectly in the little squares. I was like, all right, so that's a sign. Let's, let's go ahead and go with this. All I did was thread them in order, um, you know, in a pattern and gave a simple knot to the top of each little opening. There we go, see, and it just, just up and down, up and down, and it really started to come together. I was like, wow, this is really stinking cute. So I was very happy about how this little boho uh, beaded um, basket was coming out. I'm using my cell phone to film this because I couldn't get a good close up with my uh, regular uh, webcam. And so, um, is it a webcam if it's not actually from the laptop? Anyway, yes, it's a webcam. And so, so not, not all the shots are coming out perfectly here. Um, but I, I think it kind of like explains itself. And just go to tie it off. Now, I'm missing all of the footage for putting this twine on there. I don't know what happened. I just went around and around each little individual um, line and um, I really am so sad that I'm missing that. But look at how beautiful. I am so happy how this came out. So leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking. If this is something you might try, sure, be sure to let me know. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing week.